Thank you <laughs> and welcome everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the effects of Zoom on our being. And I don't know about you, but I have been on Zoom day and night and uh, it's, it's both exciting, it's a whole new world, and it's challenging. I find it very fatiguing, it can be stressful. I sit much more than I usually do. Even though I'm a practitioner and I treat people all the time, it's different, I'm moving when I'm treating. So I thought this would be helpful, and today we'll start with our 11 and 15. So right hand goes on the 11, which is here at the base of the neck. 15 is in the groin, right here where in the groin. And I'm beginning with this because something that's very important with Zoom and with sitting uh, a lot is posture. And what happens over time is that we start to slump. Usually it starts in the low back and then the middle back and then the heads forward and we're kind of collapsing on ourselves. And this causes a lot of stress, a lot of stress in the back, in the neck, in the shoulders. Um, in the eyes. So what I'd like to suggest is that you're sitting on your sits bones and you're sitting a little bit forward. It's as though your hips are levers. And it's easy, basically your bones are resting on themselves. So your spine is just resting. You're sitting on your sits bones and when you have to go forward, take the whole body with it, with you, I should say. So your whole body goes forward, not, you're not rounding from any part of the back. And I can sit like this for hours and it's so much less stressful than that collapse that can happen over time. And this position really helps to release the back and it also opens up the shoulders. So I, I invite you, if you like, to close your eyes or have a soft focus three feet or so in front of you. And just see if you can rest in the sitting position. The camera. Okay, we're here, 11. Yes. And, and can you hear me, Ali? Yes. Okay. We'll go to the other side now, the left hand on the right top of the shoulder, the 11, and then the 15 in the groin. Ali, am I frozen? Okay, I'm frozen on my screen. So. Uh, here it, it, everything's perfect. Okay, great, thank you. So a lot of us, as I said, are spending a lot of time on Zoom, business meetings, celebrations, family gatherings, birthday parties, book groups, and school is online largely, at least in the United States. So people are really spending a lot of time in front of a computer. And <clears throat> we're navigating this world in a whole new way. And I think this is gonna be a part of our moving forward. You know, it's both exciting and 
It's a way for us to stay connected. It's a new way. And we're pioneers, actually, in a whole new way of communicating and staying connected. And so this is how part of how we're going to be navigating the world now. So whether you're on Zoom, Netflix, sitting more than usual, today's self-help will address some of the stress and tension around the screen time. Our sitting, our posture, and the effects of this on our whole being, including our mental, emotional state. Being online a lot, being on Zoom a lot can affect the eyes, the neck, the shoulders, the upper back, the spine, and my sense of well being in general. It can be fatiguing, it can affect my energetic well being. So, someone re recently showed me a sequence which I loved. And I realized that, well, I tried it and I found it incredibly helpful. And I realized that all of the positions were either on the main central vertical or located on the pathways of some of the organ function energies. So we'll start with that. The first position you want to warm your hands. So rub them together quickly. You want to warm your hands and you can either place your fingertips on your eyes, on your eyelids, or you can cup your hands over your eyes. So be very gentle and allow your eyes to drop back into the head. Just allow them to really, really rest. The pathway of the liver goes through the eyes, so we're helping our liver. We are the liver of our lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just let your eyes rest. And notice your breath. We're not forcing the breath in any way. Just notice the breath. So without removing our hands to get to the next position, we're going to actually keep contact with the body. <clears throat> so our fingers will go up between the eyebrows, over the eyebrows, and come to rest at the temples. Gently. No pressing, just resting at the temples. Safety energy lock 20 is above the eyebrows. So this is a lateral 20. And 20 helps us to see through the eyes of the creator. 
helps memory. And the temple is a juncture where four skull bones fuse together. So it's an important place. And pressure or stress in the temple is usually brought on by stress or tension in muscles in the jaw, neck, or head. The small intestine and umbilicus pathways flow through this area. And this is also a good position, a good uh, place for shock. And again, notice the breath, no forcing, just resting in the breath, being in the breath that is. There is no other place to be. And now from the temples, we come up over the ears. We circle the ears and come down to the twelves, the side of the neck. Safety energy lock 12. And 12 is about surrendering my will. And you can feel for tension in the neck, feel the sides. This has to do with surrendering. And then just let the hands rest on the twelves. Feel the tension begin to melt away. And as you're in this position, remember to drop your shoulders. Again, just noticing the breath. Letting the hands slide down <clears throat> to the center 13s, we'll cross our hands. The 13s are the center of the chest. It's all fine. Mm -hmm. 
And 13 is spirit coming into form. Our mental, emotional body. This helps our neck and our shoulders. And it's about love. Love yourself, love each other, love the world. Again, just check in with your breath. Allowing the breath to be. Now moving the left hand to the solar plexus, which is at the base of the ribs. And the right hand is going to go down to the center 19. And this is helping us to calm our nervous system. We are actually, it helps us to be in the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest, digest, repair. It's how we relax and let go. Dropping the shoulders and just letting the breath be. Let the breath go in any direction. Her hands, our left hand is between the 14s, safety energy lock 14, and our right hand is on the 19. Now, <clears throat> letting our hands come to rest under the belly button in the hara. Can you see that, Ale? Yeah. Yes, maybe if you tilt the screen a little bit. Down. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So you. in the hara, this is the soft part of the belly. And feel your breath here. This is deeply recharging. And this, 
this area actually reflects the state of all of the 12 organs, organ functions, both physically and energetically. And just let the breath move into your hands. Gently, no effort. Now we're allowing the left hand to the pubic bone, move down to the pubic bone. Okay, the right hand is going to be from the hara, you're going to follow it around to the back, to the spine. And you're going to let your, your hand rest there. Can you see that, Ale? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. My, my screen is frozen, so I can't see. So we're going to rest our left hand on the pubic bone, the right hand on the back, resting on the spine between the safety energy lock twos. And Mary gave us this position for tension in the back. And sliding the right hand down to the coccyx, the tailbone. So you're sandwiching the coccyx and the pub. This helps to get energy into the legs. It warms the hands and the feet. So I find this sequence to be centering, deeply relaxing, and spacious. I feel so spacious after I do this, and calm. The breath deepens. Feel your breath, feel how the breath has changed over this time. I feel fully in my body. My mind feels alert and my spirit present and happy. So I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you for being here today. I hope you find this sequence helpful, useful, and you can do it as an entire sequence or you can do it as individual steps if you like. Play with it. Yes, uh, there's a question here. Is there a name for the sequence? No. <laughs> uh, somebody showed me the sequence. It was somewhat different. And I started playing with it and I, I went, oh, 
this is actually the main central, you know, made sense to me. And, you know, so that's how I put it together. Wonderful. Yes. Thank being you. creative and, and yes. being the artist, right? Yes, exactly. This is being the artist. <laughs> <laughs> Finding out possibilities to harmonize yourself. It's wonderful. When we understand the principles, we can be creative, right? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Ali, thank you so much, as always. You are oh, you're welcome. I, I've got to show my belly to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right, me too. Lots of waistline project. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> One day at a time. That's <laughs> right. Uh, Thank you, Jill, for a wonderful you. time together, and I hope you, you all enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We'll see you soon. Till next time, we'll be here uh, tomorrow in Harmonize to Energize. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll be filling in for Terry, and on Friday we'll be back with We Are One. So, see you there. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Okay.